uh, this, oh, ladies and gentlemen, we have one lady with us. That's a good thing. All right, so I welcome you all to the third EAG, Basic Hands-On EUS course. Uh, 2020 marks the 14th year of our establishment of the endoscopy service here at Surgical Unit 4. And we started with a very basic uh, facility of uh, providing basic colonoscopies, endoscopies, and ERCPs. And today, alhamdulillah, 14 years down the time, we are providing state-of-art all the advanced endoscopic facilities to the poor patients of the province. And this all has been possible uh, because of one person who had joined uh, surgical unit four uh, somewhere in 2006. And since then, we have not looked back. And alhamdulillah, today we are the I, th I think the biggest center uh, providing all the state-of-art facilities which are not even available in private in the public sector hospital free of cost. So we are really grateful to Dr. Saad Khalid Niaz that he uh, agreed to be a part of a team. And I think the work that is done, that he is doing over here is a sort of a Satkai Jariya that is going to go on. And he has made sure that this Satkai Jariya has started and will continue by training all the people who, are, who have been trained here to carry his legacy forward. So uh, Dr. Saad is the director of endoscopy uh, here. He's a visiting faculty, he's professor, uh, honorary professor at the University of Health Sciences. He's a member of syndicate as well. And uh, he is uh, the leading gastroenterologist, as I, I think you all know very well and his services have been recognized by the president as well um, uh, when he was uh, conferred Nishane Heather, or no, no, it was Nishane Imtiaz, sorry. <laughs> it was Nishane, Nishane Imtiaz. So, <laughs> well, maybe he would one day. Dinner? <laughs> Chale, that's good. Nishane <laughs> Imtiaz, sorry, <laughs> my fault. <laughs> All right, so uh, thank you, Dr. Saad. So I would uh, take this opportunity to welcome our international and national faculty as well. Uh, Professor Riyasun Nabi Tayyab is, again, one of the renowned uh, uh, gastroenterologists of our country. Uh, he's one of the first uh, few who had started doing endoscopic ultrasounds in Pakistan. And uh, he's a very good teacher as well, and it's his third course with us. Uh, thank you, Dr. Riaz, for coming, and we have his lovely wife uh, with us here as well. Uh, thank you. <laughs> she is a radiologist, and she was on our last course as a candidate. <laughs> All right, and last but not the least, uh, Dr. Muhammad Khalid Hassan. He's uh, from Florida. He's assistant professor of medicine at the Florida Central, uh, Central Florida, Florida University, or what, what is it? Oh, he's now a consultant. Okay, he's a, he's a director of uh, Advanced Fellowship, uh, Endoscopy Fellowship Program. <laughs> no, I think you would, you would fit into that category very well. <laughs> so at his young age, he is very accomplished, and he's holding the position of a director of Advanced Endoscopy Training F Fellowship Program. And we are really grateful, Dr. Khaled, that you can take out, could take out time and fly all the way from Florida here. So he, he's told me that he would come no matter uh, what. Uh, even he was, uh, it's a good thing that you were not there in 1965, otherwise he would, would have come then as well. So that's, that shows his passion for teaching and he's, a, he's an excellent teacher. So um, that's about our faculty, and uh, we have given you a very good opportunity to, to learn from this outstanding and exceedingly um, uh, talented faculty, so make, the, make most of it. Now I would request Dr. Uh, Saad to please come and uh, give a brief introduction of this course. This time we have five hands-on and five observers, and Dr. Saad will now take over. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, apologies for starting a little late, but uh, because we had um, a couple of sessions, um, hopefully a couple of talks reduced from the list that has been given to you. So hopefully we'll make up for the time. 
Other reason for delaying it was that one of our hands-on candidate, Professor Mansoor, who's uh, head of gastroenterology in, Lo in uh, Liaquat National Hospital, is actually has, is flying back from Umrah this morning. And uh, uh, hoping his flight lands on time, he said he'll come straight from the airport. So um, I thought we'd just give him a little margin as he's coming from Umrah. So I thought we'll get a little bit of prayer for everyone. We'll get a असर रहता है। Okay, um, what's the difference between workshop and hands-on course? Uh, workshop is where you go. Obviously, my senior colleagues here, I don't want to, but workshop is where you go and see experts do things, and and you learn while they're doing it. Um, and some of them will obviously share techniques. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you just see because you have multiple cases going on. Whereas hands-on course is basically where you focus on a trainee, limited numbers of trainees. So a lot of people have asked us, why do we have four or five candidates? Well, there's no point having 10 or 15 because we'll not be able to. We'll be able to show you, but hands-on training really, the kind of hands-on training we feel is useful um, would not be possible. We feel that four is enough actually. Um, five is is by uh, is not by choice. It's uh, we had a lot of candidates this time, so we just decided to increase the number to five. So what we intend to do during this hands-on course is that you have one-to-one -one with the faculty, uh, and one-to-one. -one, hopefully, in the next three days, you should have at least three, and hopefully four US. Um, there's plenty of time given. The difference between our previous two courses and this course is that this time we also have a model, which was courtesy AEG and uh, um, Lampus. So that's been sent, um, I think, last time in uh, Riyas, uh, Riyas core workshop and course, hua tha, to we saw the model there. That's the first time. And when I was discussing uh, at the AEG, we were discussing the course. Uh, the Japanese were very keen that we should have the model and we should start with the model and then take the candidates. They asked me how many of them have done what and I said most people coming here have done very few if at all. So they said it would be much better to start with the model and then go on to the uh, so the first two courses we didn't have the model. So what we do here is first of all we introduce 